Hi, I'm Katherine Johns, and this is the BizBuzz Radio Show on TV, and we're part of the Linked Local Network. My guest today is Jeff Kaida. Jeff's business is DDS Design Services, and we're about to talk home remodeling and kitchens and baths and economy and financing and all that good stuff. So I have a million questions for you, my friend. Fire away. Well, the first one is I felt like an idiot when I saw your, this is not a question, but a statement, clearly, uh, when I first saw your business and I thought you designed dental offices. No. So DDS Design Services, what's the deal? The deal is uh, I was too cheap to pay for a total reincorporation. I used to own a company called Data and Document Solutions. <laughs> and the lawyers advised me it's cheaper just to change the name and repurpose the corporation, but we have to keep some legacy of the old name. So, so that's how you got that's, to be That's how we did it. I love that. The, that is very creative. The design services comes in because we provide design services for contractors and stuff as well. Yeah. So. And you don't do dentist's office. You do kitchen and baths and stuff like that. I do. I do. In fact, I have a phobia with dentists. So. Yeah, I'll bet. So here's my question. I, you know, it's been a rough few years for people in the construction industry, mm -hmm. whether that means new home construction or remodeling. Have things started to turn around now? Uh, there, there's a, a bit of a seasonal pickup right now. Um, there's a pickup nationally, but certain states are lagging way behind the nation. And, and might and Illinois be one of those? Illinois is leading the list. That, them in California, and it's a, it's and about. why is that? It's about available availability of capital uh, and it's about uh, uh, j just uh, comfort you know people in Illinois and California are getting hit the hardest with taxes you know so they're not comfortable they don't want to buy so it's time to move to Indiana right go back to my roots and if you're not careful I'm gonna start singing back home again in Indiana and yes I know the words all right back to you so it still isn't picking up so much in Illinois. Maybe a little bit because it's spring. It's picking up, but it's lagging behind. It's slow. Okay. Is there an area where people are starting to move more? Is it like putting on a new roof or adding a bath? Or is it building a whole new, you know, like in my neighborhood, I live in the city where people put top floors on houses that didn't used to have them. Is there a category of jobs that is more common? I think, I think remodeling in general, uh, as far as categories of jobs, people are looking more long term and they're thinking, what am I going to do? I can't move. You know, they may have bought a house thinking they'd be there for a few years and they'd be out by the time the kids were ready for school. Yeah. Now they can't. So now they have to, depending on what part of the city they're in, they may not even be able, the, the public schools may not even be an option for them. So, you know, they're doing all sorts of things like that and they're figuring out how they're going to go in the next 5, 10, 15 years. Sometimes that's a bedroom, sometimes that's a, a dormers on to create a larger second floor, sometimes it's just a kitchen and a uh, great room set up where uh, mom can kind of have the kids in the one place for four or five hours after school, yeah. helping with the homework while she's still preparing the dinner and all that other stuff. So people are adding space because they can't move. Making more use of the space, Make, A yeah. and B, yeah. adding it where necessary and where they can get financing for it. Not always an easy thing. Yeah. So have people gotten out of your business? Yes. Is that a good thing for the people who are left? Like at least there's less competition? Uh, you know, you would think so. You would think that only the strongest would survive. Yeah. But some of the stronger companies have just made the determination recently that, uh, I don't want to name names, but I know a few that said it's just not worth it anymore. And some of the weaker fly-by-nights who sell, you know, who appeal to those who are trying to, to save a penny, yeah. they, they end up still finding plenty of prey. And, uh, you know, it was, it's not uncommon to get called into some, to try to fix something uh, that's yeah, pretty I'll bad. Bet. So it, it's still a buyer beware All right. environment out there. So I'll beware. If I need a new kitchen or I need you to clean up a mess, how would I find you on the web? Website is ddsdesignservices.com. Uh, I also have a blog called Ask the Kitchen Guy. It'll take you to the same website, askthekitchenguy.com. So. Perfect. Thanks so much. Jeff Kaida, my guest, DDS Design Services is his business. And this is the BizBuzz Show on TV. Uh, we're part of the Linked Local Network, where we say link locally and connect globally.